Welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. Today's lesson is in response to a viewer who's a project manager looking for help in Excel to find the number of actual working days for a project. Here's the letter. Dear Danny, I'm a project manager and I want to create my working schedules and reports in Excel rather than using Microsoft Project. I need to know how to exclude weekends and non-working holidays from my project work schedules. What formulas or functions do I use? I appreciate any help that you can give me with this request. Here is a recreation of the project report that the viewer sent me. Project name, start date for the project, end date for the project. Our viewer has been using this formula, end date minus start date. Well, that shows you the number of days between start date and end date, but it includes the weekend, so it's a calendar number of days. The viewer wants to be able to exclude weekends and holidays. We will use two functions to solve his dilemma. We'll use the workday function and the net workdays function. Now, both of these functions are part of the analysis pack add-in. So we must activate the add-in before we can use these two functions. Here's how you do it. In Excel 2007, go to the Office button. Go down to Excel Options. On the tab for Add-ins, you'll find the Analysis Tool Pack. I've already activated, so I can hit the Cancel button. We can use Workday and Net Workdays. All right, let's come over here. When will this project end? For our Workday function, we require two arguments, a start day and the number of actual working days. So let's use equals Workday. And in Excel 2007, we have formula autocomplete. So as I type, it gives me the possible formulas or functions that I can use. So I'll use the tab key. I do like to use the function arguments dialog box, so I use the keyboard shortcut control A. For the function argument dialog box, the start date is going to be cell B4. The number of days worked on the project, C4. Now, optionally, we can add in holidays. I haven't created a name range for holidays yet, so let's see, excluding the weekends, this project will finish on October 16th. I have a list of holidays over here, so let's use this to create a name range for holidays. We'll call it Holidays 2009. Let's select the dates. Let's come up here to the name box and call this Holidays 2009. Holidays underscore 2009. All names must begin with a letter. Hit enter. All right, now let's come back here and revise this. So we want to include holidays or exclude holidays. So equals workday and with function auto -compl auto complete tab control A start date days worked now this time we have a name range for holidays so let's use the F3 keyboard shortcut here's our name range holidays 2009 click OK and now you see that our project will finish on October 19th because we excluded weekends and holidays so let's copy that down now let's look at the project from another perspective this time we have the start date for the project and we know the finish date for the project we want to know how many work days will be in there alright this time we're going to use the network days function so we'll use equals network days Function autocomplete means we can use tab. I'll use control A, function arguments. Start date for the project. We're scheduling the end date for the project over here in C4. Our holidays, our name range, function 3, gives us the name range holidays 2009. Click OK. So there we go. There will be 45 working days. When we schedule the completion to be this date, our starting date, we use the network days to be able to exclude weekends and non-working holidays. Copy that down. So there you go. You learned how to use the workday function and the network day function to help you to find the actual days that you worked on a project. I'll see you in the next lesson.